Hey guys, my name is Nick, and I have a lunchbox. Oh yes, so I can sit with all the cool kids. Oh, who am I kidding? It's gonna take more than a fancy lunchbox to get me in the cool kids club. Though imagine me going to the university canteen and sitting down with this thing and just start eating my lunch with a straight face. I bet that will get some laughs, though then I'd have to explain why I have this. And unfortunately, most of my colleagues aren't too much into Pokemon cards, which is why I made this channel in the first place. To have some people to share it with. So thank you guys for always doing that for me. So anyway, we're opening up this thing today because, uh, well, it has some cool promos in it, which is why I bought it. And five booster packs. The On here it says two evolutions of Fates Glide, Steam Siege and Ancient Origins. But at the very bottom it says contents may vary. And I remember the Zygarde deck shield doing the exact same thing. And we got completely different packs than what was on the, the little cardboard thing that was around it. So who knows what we'll get. There are five packs though, that's guaranteed. Five Pokemon TCG booster packs, so five packs at least. Therefore five codes to give away, unless they're really old sums or something. That would be awesome, but I highly doubt it. As for the codes from last video, I asked you guys to choose between Solgaleo and Zygarde for no other reason than that I couldn't think of a better question. And the first winner was Gamex and the second winner was Roshan Kumar because they both went with Zygarde because he looks like uh, an awesome robot. I always think he looks like a Megazord from Power Rangers, which is a good reason to like this guy. The third winner was Bintong Aditya who went with Solgaleo as his favorite. And the last winner was James Connor, his wolf lover, who also chose Sugalio because he likes lions. As for the five codes from this video, I want to ask you guys what is in your lunchbox? Let me know in the comments below for a chance to win one of the codes. Very open question, so feel free to come up with some uh, interesting answers. As long as I understand it's an answer to the question to win one of the codes, all is fair. Now I am very excited to open this thing because of one specific promo in particular. So let's get to that. Oh no, it's the same plastic as the tins again. Scissors, where's my scissors? There it is. Oh, here we go. Oh, this feels exciting. And there. Oh, I don't have room. Oh, oh, this is a problem. We'll have to do it like this. <laughs> oh, here we have... Coin. Oh, uh, I'll figure this out later. Now we have another Magirnas promo and another Vulcanian promo. And can we take a moment to appreciate just how many promos we got of these guys by now? All to promote that movie, obviously. But what really made me excited for this one was that the third promo, which the coin already sort of gives it away, it is Manga Gengar in a shiny form, which just looks amazing. I'm never the biggest fan of shiny Pokemon. I always think they are a bit overrated. Like they're cool to get and I get that, but it's just a Pokemon with a di different color, right? Just because something it has a very small chance of happening doesn't mean it's automatically the most amazing thing in the world. But that said, Mega Gengar, the white color just looks so amazing. <laughs> so, and the weird thing is, it's technically not even playable because, at least not in standard format, because a uh, regular Gengar EX is not uh, in standard format anymore. So you can officially play with it, but it's just very cool to have because a white Mega Gengar, come on, it looks awesome. But I'll worry about getting that out of the plastic later. And then we have some booster packs, two evolutions, Steam Siege, so it seems the, the, the thing was correct. Ancient Origins, oh, or not. We have a Furious Fist. Oh, I've never opened Furious Fist before. Oh, that is exciting. So it was almost correct. See, I think we're missing the face glide that was on the thing. Where's the cardboard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we can get that into focus, there's a face glide down there instead of a furious fist. Which, as much as I still want that Lugia break, I really can't complain about because, wow, furious fist. We're saving that one for last. And then we have some random crap with some pencils, which 
I'm sure I'll find someone who likes to have those. What else is in there? Stickers of Vulcanian and Magirna. And some more stickers of a shiny Gardevoir and a shiny Mega Gengar. Shiny Gardevoir because it's in the Steam Siege set, I guess, and Mega Gengar because it's in this thing. A little notepad. But just Vulcanian and Magirna over and over again. That can go with the pencils. And at the bottom we have a little collector album. If I can get that out, well... Oh, you can put cards in there, really. Uh, ten, I'm guessing. And that's it, really. That's the, the treasure chest, or lunchbox, whatever you want to call it. But then we get to the packs. Let's start with evolutions, because, well, why not? Last video we didn't get much, then again we got two Sun and Moon packs, so I wasn't expecting much. But we also had a, a Evolutions that didn't give us anything. So let's see if that changes today. We have Nidorino, Slowbro Spirit Link, Pokedex, Senjuru! I love Senjuru. Ponyta, Magnemite, Pikachu, Machop, Machop, sorry, Doduo, and a Mewtwo, so not to, not anything too big from the first pack, but Evolutions has one more chance. Then again, I actually wouldn't mind some bad Evolutions packs if those other packs are amazing, right? Like Furious Fist, if we can get anything cool from that, that would be amazing. So we have Blastoise Spirit Links, the one I was still missing. So now I finally have all the Spirit Links. And now I'm just mi missing from the, the, the trio the Venusaur EX and Mega Venusaur EX, I think. We, we have Mega Charizard and Mega Blastoise. And we do have a Mega Venusaur in the bottom left. You can just see the corner of it, but that's from Generations. Then we have Misty's Determination. Polyroar. Diglett, always a Diglett, Drowsy, Caterpie, another Doduo, another Pikachu, Versalo Starmie, which we got in the last video, so, and a Ninetales. Oh, wow, I actually have the base set version of this, so kind of nostalgic feeling to hold this in my hands right now. Well, that's a nice pool I didn't have, at least. And then we have Steam Siege, no, Steam Siege. It does have a good track record. It often gives me good stuff, but only one pack. It's not always a hit. Come on. It's a lot tighter than the Evolutionist packs. Here we go. Move the evolutions cards onto the side so I can put stuff down. We have a special charge, a clang, Steelix Spirit Link, Oshawott, Ponyard, Ponyta, Clink, Mantine, Reverse Hollow Armaldo, that's a new one, and the last card, a Weavile. Ooh, and then we get to the rare ones, or at least the old packs. Can you call them old by now? Ancient Origins, you can still find them at places. But I definitely haven't opened too many of them. So we should get some new cards at least, which is always nice, even if we don't get big pools. Like this one, we have an Eco Arm. Level Ball, Curlia, Persian, Relicanth, Porygon, Golurk, Inkei, a Reverse Hollow Metagross, 
Nice large art. That is a rare. So, was that other card? Did we get other reverse hollow rares? I'm not sure. What are you? Yeah, that's also a rare. The Armaldo. And Stormy was also a rare, I think. Uh, Metagross and the last card. A Golurk. Another nice large art. And a really good card, this. <laughs> You can pretty much use it in any deck and that superpower is such a good attack because it does 20 damage to itself but its uh, ability makes it a psychic energy fighting type and it has a resistance to fighting type therefore it doesn't do damage to itself which is amazing it's a little weird that they have that in the card because well it could damage itself if you take the fire type away somehow by taking away the ability but how often is that going to happen right and now we have furious fists Oh, this is exciting. We didn't have any big pools yet. Well, that uh, Nine Tails was nice, but if we can get at least one EX this video, that would be amazing. Especially if from Furious Fists, then I'm going to walk away very happy. And if we don't get anything, then this was kind of a dud, really. <laughs> don't tell me I'm starting another unlucky streak already. We're about to find out. So all new cards. We have Vibrava. Gothorita. Gothorita. Training center. A Clefairy. Torchic. Oh, that looks adorable. Pancham. Trapinch. Poliwag. Reverse Hollow Dead and A. A lot of adorable little Pokemon in this pack. And the last card is Sylveon. So, no really big pulls from this, unfortunately. That's a bit of a letdown. But Furious Fist cards, all new. That is quite nice. So, those were the packs. Again, if you want to win one of the goats, let me know what is in your lunchbox. It can be anything, you can be as original with your answer as you want to be. I'll pick my favorite answers and announce them in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can click up here to watch another one. And if you just want to watch me play some video games, you can click down here to go to my gaming channel. Whatever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.